Captains, I'm the executive director. Okay. Tell us the importance of uh, this voyage. Well, this voyage is to honor a man who 22, 23 years ago came to Hawaii to uh, help us relearn the art of non instrument navigation, um, which was lost yeah, in, in Hawaii for, for many years. Um, he's always wanted to have a canoe from Hawaii, or from Polynesia, really. Um, to go down to his, his islands down in Micronesia. Um, we made a commitment to him many, many years ago that we would. And finally, today's the day we, we're going to start honoring that commitment by taking this voyaging canoe um, to his island in Micronesia. And describe uh, some of the challenges for that journey. Oh, you know, we, like, management navigation is... is, is, is 
it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. You, you, you're sailing without instruments at all. You're using just elements to um, to find your way. The moon, the sun, the stars, the ocean swells, wind, um, all of that, yeah? So um, you got to really, really deal with the elements um, and be able to, to, to watch it and, and understand it uh, for, for you to be able to, uh, to get where you got to go to. Um, what's really neat about this trip is we've been doing an education program here on the Big Island for the last four years and about one third of our students that went through this program are now part of this crew that's taking my home. So in essence, you know, he's, um, he's been very, very instrumental in a lot of, uh, in, in, in the resurgence of, of void, voyaging, open ocean voyaging in Hawaii. Very inspirational. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So. How many in your crew? Uh, I'll told, I'll told we got 46. We got 16 that's going on the first leg, and it will change according, according, uh, accordingly on down on the line. Yeah. And describe the journey. The first leg goes where? The first leg goes from Hawaii to Marjo in the Marshall Islands. The second leg goes from Marjo across right to Ponape in in uh, in uh, Federated States of Micronesia from Ponape to a Polynesian island in Micronesia called Kapingamarangi. And from there to an island called Chuk or Truk. Then into to Mao's island called Satawal. And then to Saipan and to Guam. We got, we, we're looking at about 6,500 miles of sailing. And ETA? We don't really care. <laughs> as long as you make it. Yeah. Out there to have a good time. So, and just describe a little bit about Mao, what kind of man? Uh, you, why don't, why don't you, 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 you guys talk? You did, did Mao already? Well, Mao's really a humble man, you know. He's, um, everybody recognizes him just for his ability to, to navigate. But in my eyes and some of our eyes, Mao's a complete man because he's not only a navigator. He knows how to do uh, uh, what do you call all the medicine, you know. He, know, he knows how to plant. He knows how to do everything. The way he was raised is, is like um, um, knowing everything surrounding you, learning, learning uh, by learning to live in an, an environment to survive. Yeah? So it's not just a navigator, you know. He's doing a whole bunch of things. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Mukwe ala ke aluha, boa ke aluha, ke aluha valendo. 